All right, this morning we're going to talk about the error, could not allocate space for object dbo.sort, temporary run storage, and there's usually an amount, and this is related to running dbcc check db, which basically checks the database integrity. Okay, so first things first, and this is going to be a pretty frustrating video, and the reason why I say that is because the, the, the command that Microsoft allows you to use is not always accurate, so that can be very frustrating. This specific error message, and notice we're talking about the database um, here, this is the full error by the way, tempdb. We're not looking at another database. Um, but when you see primary file group is full, tempdb, one of the ways you can, you can go and kind of look, under system databases you'll have master model msdb and you'll have tempdb. You can go to the properties of tempdb. If this loads, hold on. Okay, and under file groups, you can see there's your primary, and that's important because if you have any type of partitioning or anything like that, you're going to be immediately aware. And you'll see that the primary file group is full. Now, by the way, this is an error that I did not get. So you can see, for instance, where this is at, and you'll want to check these here and the location and exactly how they're supposed to grow and whatnot. Um, this is a dev database, so I'm not really concerned about how my TempDB whatsoever is configured. Um, but generally speaking, you want to have your TempDB configured a certain way depending on your environment. For instance, some environments I've seen, they break up TempDB into uh, four MDFs, and some environments I've seen them break it up to 12. And again, all of that is, there's no right answer because it depends on your environment. One of the things you can do if you get this error, and I'm going to use a different database here, and this is where it's kind of frustrating. I'm going to use Bitcoin. And we are going to do dbcc check db, and we're going to do it with estimate only. Now, the reason why I say this is, this is the frustrating command is because it's going to give you an estimate as to the space and temp db needed and the estimated attempt to, to check tables, check allocation. And if you, especially if you read like Paul Randall and others, you'll find that this isn't always accurate. It depends on your environment. And so I know people are like, well, then what's the purpose of this command if it's not necessarily accurate? And I'm going to go back to a bigger point, which is if you are a DBA or a sysadmin, you need to know your environment. If I bring in, let's say, a 100 gig database into an environment and I'm the DBA, I need to know how intense and heavy CheckDB is. It's great that I have this command, and it's, it's good that it's there, but this may not be that accurate, so how do I know what, how accurate this is going to be? I need to be able to do my own research to know exactly how tense um, this database running CheckDB on this database is. And for the record, I happen to know that's not accurate on this database, because I have run CheckDB. In fact, it runs daily on Bitcoin. This is actually one of the few databases here that I have a lot of almost active data. Uh, so this is just, it's not an accurate picture of it. And uh, again, I know that because I've done my own test in this environment. It's the same thing with yours. Ultimately, when you first bring a database on, suppose that this department, because we had faced this issue a while back, the DBA department, suppose that they had run check DB on this database and they had looked at the resources that are used and then as the database grew, they looked at the resources that are used. And all of the things that I'm describing, the resources that are used, all of that can be automated, punched into you know, Excel, CSV, graph, you name it. Then they would know exactly, for instance, how to troubleshoot this error in terms of TempDB. And I say that because they actually didn't know what to do. And so here we are in our department, most of us are developers, and we're like, this is what you're going to do, and here's why. And this is what we have found when we run uh, CheckDB, the database uses this much, which technically isn't our position. And that's why I'm saying, like, as a DBA, you never want to be in a position where someone's saying, hey, this is what you need to do. Um, you should, especially as a DBA, senior level DBA, you should know. But ultimately, you need to know your environment. So it's a good idea, especially that first week you get that database to say, okay, this database is, you know, two terabytes. So let's see what happens when we root check db what are what are the type of resources that are used and understand tempdb tempdb excuse me is a part of that process so 
the real thing about this video is it's nice to, to have this command, but again, as you'll find, and you can read other people talking about it, and they'll say that, yeah, it's not always going to give you necessarily an accurate picture. And I'm glad I use this because I, I happen to know this is inaccurate. For instance, if I were to use this database, it would probably provide a fairly accurate picture. It actually seems pretty high right here. Um, so yeah, that may not be accurate either. Uh, but my big thing is know your environment. So if you if you learn anything, it's uh, know your environment, know your databases. And there's no better time to do this than when you first um, get the database or when you first build the database and to measure it, whether it's weekly, especially on the weekend, it's very convenient. Um, usually a lot of the troubleshooting that we do happens on the weekend. So you can get the amount of resources that are used for certain commands um, if they're causing trouble and then you can plot the growth of those commands as the database gets larger and so that way you you know how many resources are going to be used. So yes this command may not be your best uh, best friend but your best friends are definitely going to be understand your environment and of course uh, do a lot of your testing and getting your information at the beginning and from there it's just a amount of monitoring it and just plotting it out.